trying to block me. I'm trying to walk here. I don't make graphic signals. You're a snarky little idiot. Shut the up. Try something. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Meanwhile, the midterm elections are around the corner, 18 days from right now. Elements of the Democratic coalition are becoming radical. Some are threatening violence, some are advocating violence. Others are taking the next step and engaging in violence. Here, for example, is Nancy Pelosi. Watch her explain that people will be hurt in order to achieve the Democratic Party's goals. And that's okay. Watch. We have to have total clarity about what we do when it comes to everything. A woman's right to choose, whether it's about immigration, whether it's about gun safety, whether it's about climate. We didn't even talk about climate. And if there's some um, collateral damage for some others who do not share our view, well, so be it. Collateral damage. She's talking about you. Your collateral damage in Pelosi's remarkably direct calculation. Thanks for telling us. So did the woman in this video. She was in the way, too. She made the mistake of wearing an NYPD hat in the presence of a leftist. Watch what happened when she did. Why are you trying to block me? I'm trying to walk here. I don't make traffic signals. You're a snarky little idiot. Shut the up. Try something. I'm not. I'm not going to punch you. I'm not like your husband. I'm not going to punch you. I'm not like your boyfriend or your top boyfriend who's going to knock you out, so don't worry. My husband died in 9-11. Hey, good for him. Good. Good. Those NYPD were a bunch of sodomizing, sodomizing immigrants with their bully sticks. So yeah, your your husband should probably should rot in the grave. Are you listening? Fox News alert for you. Mexican authorities are trying to stop a caravan of migrants headed north to the United States. That may literally be beyond their power. Trace Gallagher has the latest on that story. Trace? And Tucker, it's impossible to get an accurate count because the caravan is spreading out, but we still believe there are between three and 4,000 Honduran and Salvadoran immigrants heading north. And right now, at Guatemala's border with Mexico, there are thousands of migrants waiting in line trying to cross one of two bridges that lead into Mexico. Now, earlier, they broke a gate and tried to push their way into the country. And in spite of Mexican police and military using smoke canisters to push them back, many of them, as you can see, kind of got through. Mexico has now told the United States it would put up shelters, meaning tents, along their border with Guatemala. And Mexican authorities say they're allowing 100 migrants per day to come into Mexico. Those people are being told they want to seek asylum. If they do so, Mexican government saying they need to stay in a government shelter or a charity shelter, and their applications will be processed within 45 days. Now, if they leave and roam the country, they forfeit their asylum request. And could be deported. Well, you know, it's a lot of people. I don't think he's going to be able to stop a lot, everybody. Well, I think President Trump should try. Look, that is an assault on our country. That's an assault. And in that caravan, you have some very bad people. You have some very bad people. And we can't let that happen to our country. Thomas, you would know more about this probably than the rest of us put together about exactly who is showing up at the border. Well, look, you know, we take custody of uh, ICE, took custody of everybody at the Border Patrol arrest. If you look at who they've arrested in the last few years, between 18 and 20 percent have a criminal history. I mean, they've had criminal convictions. This isn't the first time they come to the United States. So there are a lot of criminals coming across the border. Now, I'm not saying every criminal, but as far as, you know, what the president, the comments he made, look, we're a sovereign country. We have the right to protect our borders. Boom. Yeah. The timing is so telling. In my opinion, the first time this happened not too long ago was a test run. The left deliberately timed this just before the midterms to try and make the president look bad while at the same time having an influx of illegals to vote Democrat. A full-on assault, if you will, to try and regain power by any means necessary. I say Soros is the financial core of it. Those of us who were awake knew this was coming here, 
by watching what was happening in other countries. Remember this? When folks tell you who they are, or you find out, believe them. Don't be an ostrich with his head in the sand who ends up making a target out of its butt. Higher education has already become liberal indoctrination. I want my kids and my granddaughter to experience the America that I have. Not socialism, not Sharia law, the U.S. Constitution. So let's bring the vote. God bless you and God bless America. Now, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. He goes to jail! He goes to jail! Have you ever felt? Are you listening? <laughs>